forward uh, Matt Moore, Chris and I, and uh, a broken cloud layer below us. Which is uh, concerns me. Hopefully, it doesn't become a solid overcast when we head back. But we're on our way to Atmore, and going to just stop and go in the FBO and stretch our legs and uh, turn around and come back. We currently have flight following from uh, Mobile Regional. Flight is one kilo. Charlie, keep your speed up because I have another one inbound behind you. Okay, we'll keep speed up, one kilo, Charlie. Which is that uh, who you hear? November zero, Alpha Sierra, reduce speed to one eight zero. I have one uh, inbound in front of you doing the visual. Down to one eight zero zero, Alpha Sierra. All right, we're at three thousand, close enough. Three thousand five hundred. Charlie Sierra, checking into 6500. Sierra 845, Charlie Sierra, mobile approach, mobile to number 3026. 3026. RPM is, yep, 2450, so that's good. Mobile Center, can I uh, request uh, going into a 66 Yankee? Uh, I need to pick up some fuel. Aircraft requesting fuel, say again. Okay, I want to go to 66 Yankee for, for, I need to pick up some fuel. An aircraft calling, go on and go to 66 Yankee. I need your call sign. Okay, it's 845 Charlie Sierra. I'm sorry. You're 845 Charlie Sierra. I'll put it in the system for you. Thank you. minutes reporting marginal VFR. Hey, Mobile, Plotus, one kilo, Charlie. Uh, they're called 1900 uh, overcast at um, Callahan, so we're going to have to do the uh, hard nav to the runway one. Here, one kilo, Charlie, roger. Fly heading 190, vectors for the hard nav runway one, one, correction, one approach. Okay, what was that uh, heading again? Here, one kilo, Charlie, fly heading 190. Okay, heading uh, 190, uh, one kilo, Charlie. Approach, uh, 2530 Yankee. There, 2530 Yankee, mobile approach. Roger that. We're going to turn around. Um, can we get a little course that's west of us uh, so we can come into St. Elmo from the west? 430 Yankee, turn left, heading 270. Left 270, Roger, thank you. There are five zero Juliet. Contact go for approach one two seven point five. Two seven point five. Switch in uh, five zero Juliet. Come on. Yeah, that layer over there is just too thick. Yeah. Well, they're reporting at marginal VFR at Baymanet. That would be an alternate, so we don't need to do that. Approach earlier five nine 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 off for two thousand. Clear, 599er Tango Alpha, mobile departure radar, contact climb, maintain 10,000. 10,000, everything off. Mobile, Skywest 3780, 16, descending 11. Skywest 3780, mobile approach, mobile ultimate 3026, descending maintain 3000. To maintain 3000, we have information, Mike, Skywest 3780. Sir, one kilo, Charlie, descending maintain 4000. Okay, something 4000, one kilo, Charlie. That's 270, right? Three zero Yankee, descend maintain two thousand five hundred. Uh, descend and maintain two thousand five hundred. Three zero Yankee. November 9 or 5 contact. Go for approach one two seven point five. Twenty seven decimal five. Good day nine five nine. Number nine or ten, you Yankee. Turn left, direct. Correction. Turn right, direct. Murray on course. That's why it's good practice to do this. Okay. Nine oh yeah. Tango Alpha. Uh, I believe that was for us. Direct Murray. Turn nine or ten, Alpha. From here, turn right, direct Murray. Nine or ten, Alpha. Number one, Kilo Charlie. Traffic. Eleven o'clock. Five miles, orbiting Alton Heights, 2,700.
Okay, he may uh, be in the clouds. Uh, negative contact, one kilo Charlie. We are Niner Tango Alpha, contact Houston Center, 127.65. 12765, Niner Tango Alpha. Skywest 3780, procedure at Brooklyn Vortex, expect a visual approach. Direct Brooklyn Vortex, Skywest 3780. I think this is the best way to go around the tunnel traffic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're avoiding the tunnel traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Seen? Juliet Tango Alpha, be advised that the bullseye mowers are active. Have you uh, seen the video of this uh, uh, pilot flying through a tunnel? I haven't seen that. Yeah. Juliet Tango Alpha, bullseye mowers are active. Do you need a vector around? Yes, please. Juliet Tango Alpha. Those are the stunt pilots. Juliet Tango Alpha, fly yeah. heading one. Oh, yeah. Correction, 280. Heading 280, Juliet Tango Alpha. There one kilo tower of that traffic now. 10 to 11 o'clock in four miles northbound Alton Cape 2,900. Uh, must still be under the clouds. I don't see them one kilo, Charlie. November one kilo, Charlie. Additional traffic, 11 o'clock in five miles westbound Alton Cape 4,600. Okay, negative look in one kilo, Charlie. There are one kilo, Charlie, descend and maintain 2,000. Hey, descending to 2,000, one kilo, Charlie. Number three, Romeo Sierra, mobile approach, mobile to number 3027. Now she said fly heading 270, not course 270. Okay. Different. So we got to stay on 270 is what that means? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got to maintain a compass direction to 270. So. Yeah, because Mobile Regional's right that way, right? Yeah. Zero one kilo Charlie traffic, no factor. Yeah, uh, but I'm, Roger, one kilo Charlie. I'm already cleared into their airspace when they when they answer my call. I'm cleared into their airspace. Oh, cool. Versus uh, somebody like New Orleans or Dallas, which you have to be cleared into their airspace. That's a Class B, right? Yep, you're right, Class B. Feed on six zero zero Alpha Sierra traffic. Mobile's Class C. Two o'clock in five miles, orbiting Alton Cape 3,700, appears to be a Texan. Zero Alpha Sierra. Got a good shot of Mobile right there. Oh, yeah. That's a really cool skyline picture. I need to kick my, keep my car PD on until I get my... Number no, one kilo, Charlie, turn left heading zero nine or zero. Left heading zero nine zero, one kilo, Charlie. Zero zero, Alpha Sierra, descend and maintain 2003, correction, descend and maintain 4000 and reduce to final approach speed. I see lab people... 4000 and reduce to final approach speed, zero Alpha Sierra. Zero Alpha Sierra, you need another lap on the holder, going to continue straight. Zero Alpha Sierra, I'm in instructions, maintain 5,000 and do another hold. Okay, 5,000, another hold. There's I-65. Yeah, yeah, there's the malls there. We're at 2,500. Number one kilo, Charlie, five miles from the final approach six, turn left, heading zero four zero, maintain two thousand till established on the final approach course cleared, R now runway one approach. So left to zero four zero, two thousand until established, cleared for the uh, R now one approach, uh, one kilo, Charlie. Be around these clouds. Yeah. They create their own turbulence. Well, the wind blows around them. Oh. So I'm staring around them. 
I still have to maintain. Tower 3780, expect to 3,000 for traffic. I still have to maintain VFR. Okay. There's the uh, Mobile Regional there. Yeah. Even if they put us across them, we're, we're cleared into their airspace. How often have you flown to New Orleans? Uh, just once. Okay. Not to their Bravo air. I flew into re, uh, Lakefront, which is Class uh, D, is a uh, tower control. Oh, okay. But you still have to fly through uh, New Orleans airspace. I, well, I fly under it. That sounds challenging. <laughs> it, it was good practice. Every number airman. one, Kilo Charlie, report cancellation of IFR in this air. This frequency on the ground with a number I can provide you as soon as possible because I do have one IFR inbound behind you. Something every airman has to do. And yeah, we're going to fly right across them, Mobile Regional. Pilotus one, Kilo Charlie, did you copy? Uh, one, Kilo Charlie, go ahead. Pilotus one, Kilo Charlie, report cancellation of IFR in the air. This frequency or on the ground as soon as possible with a number I can provide for you. Do you need that number? Uh, we just picked up the field. We can go ahead and uh, cancel at this time. One kilo, Charlie. Sure, one kilo, Charlie. IFR cancellation C, squat VFR, frequency change approved, multiple aircraft in the pattern. One is, looks like, on the left downwind. Okay, squawk in uh, 1200, one kilo, Charlie. Sure, one kilo, Charlie. Change advisor, frequency approved. Change in advisory, one kilo, Charlie. Tower 3780, descend and maintain 2300. Maintain 2000. She busy today. Oh, yeah. With the from He's controlling every few minutes. Skyway 3780, continue present heading. Present heading, Skyway 3780. Skyway 3780, heading 230. Heading 230, Skyway 3780. 30, Yankee, turn left, heading 230. Left 230, 30, Yankee. 30, Alpha Sierra, to maintain 3000. 3000, Alpha Sierra. 30, Alpha Sierra, you can start that turn inbound. Okay, so in other words, continue. There's your office, Sierra, you can continue on to the approach. Okay. We're going to 230? Yeah. Okay. There's your office, Sierra, track approach inbound, maintain 3000. He's keeping me from going over the airport. Inbound, maintain 3000, zero off of Sierra. Cessna, Juliet Tango Alpha, contact go for approach 127.5, advise them of your heading for the sector. The yeah, back. we made the right decision. 127.5, yeah. Juliet Tango Alpha. Yeah. Juliet Tango Alpha. Yeah, them, those clouds are rolling in. Approach free there, Yankee. Skyway 3780, flight heading 270, advise when you have the field in sight. Thank you, 270, we're right in the layer of clouds, Skyway 3780. Skyway 3780, Center maintain 1,800. Center maintain 1,800, Skyway 3780. Skyway 3780, turn right, heading 330, report the field in sight. Right, heading 330, we'll advise, Skyway 3780. I don't see any other aircraft around here. Well, you'll see it on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Zero, Alpha Sierra, maintain 2,300. 2,300, zero, Alpha Sierra. Airport site, Skyway 3780. Skyway 3780, clear visual approach, runway 33, contact tower 118.3. Clear visual approach, runway 33, over to tower now, Skyway 3070. Once you... Once you uh, ask for 3-0 Yankee, resume on navigation, maintain VFR at or above 2,500. Maintain uh, VFR at or above 3, 000, uh, 2,500. 3 Yankee, thank you. I'm in 5 9 or 6 7 Lima, mobile approach. Nine five eight seven Lima, stand by for your squawk. November eight four five Charlie Sierra, contact. Go for approach one two seven point five. What was that frequency again? 
Air 5, Charlie Sierra, contact go for approach 127.5. 127.5, thank you. Mobile 4, this is a na Papa Romeo, Juliet Tango Alpha. Can you confirm frequency, please? Cessna Juliet Tango Alpha, contact go for approach 127.5. 127.5, thank you, Juliet Tango Alpha. Vietnam Zero Alpha Sierra, clear DOR DME Alpha approach into Fairhope Airport. Report cancellation of IFR in the air. This room here on the ground flight service as soon as possible. Change to advisory frequency approved. Go to the approach and uh, we'll cancel once we get uh, with you for Zero Alpha Sierra. Zero three zero Yankee, delete altitude restriction. Delete altitude restriction three zero Yankee. I'm gonna uh, drop down now and uh, I should have the airport in sight. Zero three zero Yankee, Roger. Three zero Yankee Raider service terminated squawk VFR frequency change approved. Radar well, service terminated squawk VFR. Thank you so much. Three zero Yankee. All right, the airport straight ahead. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Can we enter the pattern on the downwind leg? Okay. And I'm going to try to make a call. 2530 Yankee. I am 5 to the north. Then I enter left traffic for 6. Full stop, St. Elmo. Well, we got. Almost. Yeah, we were we were getting there, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, I was gonna let you fly, but it was a little too, a little uh, too serious. Oh yeah. I'd rather us get back alive. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna write down uh, a, a, a right 45 degrees into the left uh, left downwind for. Might be a little bumpy. Okay. That was a good bump. <laughs> yeah. And I'm on traffic, Skyhawk 2530 Yankee. I am three to the north. And I'm going to set up for a 45 into a left downwind for six. St. Elmo. Okay. Ten more degrees of flaps. Yeah, not yet. That was just uh, that was just trimming, getting into oh. the uh, takeoff. So uh, I'll, I'll be at within flap. A yeah, white arc for flaps. Then I'm with traffic. Scott two five three zero Yankee entering left downwind for uh, six. Full stop. Saint Elmo. Right at a thousand feet, and I'm I'm close enough to 100 miles an hour now, yet that I can. Uh, and I'm 2100 RPM. So I'm about where I need to be. Once you get in the white arc, that's flap deployment. Uh, deployment. You don't deploy the, uh, deploy the flaps any higher speed than that. That's 100 miles an hour. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be bumped around when we land, so that's all right. All right, so we're going to pull back power to 1,500 RPM, 10 degrees of flaps, flapses, multiple flaps. And we're going to start losing some altitude here. All right. Yes, the throttle controls the altitude pretty much. You uh, your throttle less control altitude when you're in a landing uh, uh, configuration. 
Your nose controls uh, speed. St. Elmo traffic, Donald 2530 Yankee, left base for six. Full stop, St. Elmo. Left base. Yep. Your nose controls speed. Your engine controls altitude when you're in land configuration. And when you're flying, uh, cruising, it's different. Oh. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Ten more degrees of flaps. Yeah. All right. And we'll get With going. as bumpy as it is, that's, that's all the flaps I'm going to get. All right. Sound my traffic, Tahoe 2530 Yankee. I'm on the left final for six. Uh, it's going to be full stop, St. Elmo. I used to make the mistake of referencing that railroad track on my final approach on the simulator, and I'd be too far out. <laughs> yeah. A little too low this. See, now we're controlling altitude with, uh, with the engine. The uh, simulator has a road here. Yep. Got a little crosswind here too, sir. So. Oh yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be be fun. Okay. Was that the stall warning? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah. Uh, ideally, want that to go off when you're you know, you don't want to be flying when you land. Yeah. <laughs> You want to be pitched up a little? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. I had a little uh, higher airspeed because I only had 20 degrees of flap, so it floated a little more down the runway. At least that's we, all right. Yeah, we have runway left. <laughs> well, there, and the reason I did that, I wanted a little higher speed because uh, when it's gusty like that, if, if the wind drops out and you're too slow, you can lose elevator control Ooh. And, or, or, and rudder control. So when, when it's gusty wind conditions like this, you want to keep a little higher airspeed so you can have some control.